How's it going everyone? Dominican Steel here and in today's video, you guessed it, we're going to be talking about Minecraft Earth. And I'm going to have a lot of things to say when it comes to drawing comparisons between Minecraft Earth and Pokemon Go. Now, I'm only going to say Pokemon Go a few times just because, to iterate, Pokemon Go is definitely one of the best just virtual uh, reality style games for the phone or augmented reality, sorry, augmented reality games that have ever been released on the mobile platform. And so I feel like this game is going to be just as big, if not bigger, because of the community behind both of these genres of games. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Let's start talking about this. So first of all, Minecraft Earth is looking like what Pokemon Go should have been in the first month of release. Now, I'm saying this because they have so many similarities, including the way you move around, the whole augmented reality system, the whole virtual uh, being able to see what roads you're on, displays in-game as well when you're walking around with your character that you can fully customize, again, with different skins. And instead of Poke stops, you pretty much have these Minecraft stops where you're able to find uh, any kind of environment, I want to say, and you're able to tap on it. I think they call them tappables. And instead of you know Poke stops, which I mentioned, you are getting different materials. So they're essentially just one and the same. So. On top of all of this, this game is supposed to be very, very good when you're playing with friends, but I mean, that shouldn't really be a selling point because any game that's cooperative technically should be good with friends. So I mean, that shouldn't really be a selling point again, but as we can see in the trailers here that I've pulled from YouTube, from Minecraft themselves, uh, these this is what you should be expecting. Of course, they're going to try and you know, up the ante, try and make it look better than it needs to be, but, you know, who's going to be doing what this guy's doing? I don't think so. But, you know, if you're out with a group of friends and you guys love Minecraft, I could see this game being a total hit, like, in the trailer once more, you're doing all sorts of crazy shenanigans, killing a bunch of enemies, you know, you got everyone like, oh, you play Minecraft Earth? No, dude, I'm playing Pokemon Go! Like, I, I don't really know how this is going to go down, but, um... In this next trailer, you're going to be seeing some gameplay, and uh, someone from Minecraft is actually talking about the closed beta, because at the time that I'm making this video, this game is not in a closed beta. In fact, I believe it's in early access at the moment for, I don't know if uh, iPhone has it yet, but Samsung, you know, Android has it at the moment on their Play Store. And what we're seeing right here is guys just changing skins and... Once again, like I said, Pokemon Go styled, instead of Pokestops, you got the tappables and you're able to pretty much see anything around you and take it, I want to say. And so if you have a landmark down, I guess you have to invite people to see the landmark and edit it because uh, if not, uh, other people can build landmarks as well. And uh, I, don't, I think they're called land blocks and you put them down. And, you can pretty much edit them and play with them, but the whole point of the game is, once again, like Pokemon Go. You're supposed to voyage your way around your city, and of course, just like Pokemon Go, um, you are really, really have to go into a city. Like, not a town, a city. Like, a city with skyscrapers almost, with many, many buildings, populated area, you know, many landmarks not like a small town. This would not, probably not be the best in a small town. So as you can see, there are the landmarks you can build and slap down. You can edit it with all the tappables you've been consuming over the course of how no, whoever knows you know, how long you're walking around outside for. Instead of collecting Pokemon, you know, you're collecting blocks and buildables to bring back to your base and pretty much edit. So again, you have to really be outside and walking around everywhere you go. There are many tappables, you know, close by, nearby when you start, but again, you really need to be in a big city to take advantage of this, because if not, you're not going to be getting the most out of the game, and there's probably no point in playing this if you 
don't have many friends to play with and you're living in a small town. But that's going to be it for me guys. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. I do post daily videos, so make sure to keep up on the content on the channel. So again, peace.